This is the first time that we as Northern Cheyennes, we get to tell our history. I often would hear Rosie and my mother talk about what happened at Fort Robinson. They were sad because of what happened, but at the same time, and they wanted to do something. They wanted people to know what happened there to the Cheyennes, to our relatives. It's about coming together and, and, and mourning a tragic event, honoring those that were involved with it, and looking to the future to see how we can do better. For me, that's, that's really what this trail is about, is to help people to understand better. And in the process of understanding, to begin, just to begin a, the, the healing process um, on both sides. Under General Crook, they attacked the main winter camp of the Northern Cheyenne and completely destroyed it. And it was decided that they would be sent south to Indian Territory. They uh, eventually complied. They were told that if they went down there for a year and they didn't like it, they could come back. Uh, there was a lot of disease down there, measles and malaria, and the rations that they had been told that they would receive um, uh, didn't materialize. They were dying. There was no intention to allow them to go back north. On the night of, of September 9th, 1878, they gathered their families together, 353 of them, and went north. They were taken to Fort Robinson and uh, imprisoned in an old cavalry barracks. In January of 1879, word came down from Washington that uh, they were to be taken back to Indian Territory in Oklahoma, and, uh, and they resisted. They opted to break out and most certainly die, but to die in their homeland where their ancestors were buried. And within those first two hours, over two dozen Cheyenne were dead in the snow there between the barracks and the river. Many more died in the foothills along those buttes. And the army chased them for, for 10 days after that. And still they refused to give up. As a result of, of the Fort Robinson breakout, the US government realized that, um, that they, they could no longer hold out for them to be sent south, that they had to give them a home here in the north. Uh, because of the determination, the incredible sacrifice of our ancestors, we have a place we can call home today. Fort Robinson, you don't hear that much about because the, the Cheyennes prevailed in there. And those other walks, the Native Americans there did not prevail. The government always won. There was a, a powwow at the fort. I got a call from the secretary of the tribe and she said they needed some elders down in Fort Robinson. They were gonna honor the Northern Cheyennes that broke out there. I talked to my mom and uh, she agreed to go with, along with uh, a couple other elders. There was a lot of grief. There wasn't too many generations removed. When we heard about the, you know, the Rails to Trails project and that it's a national effort, that it seemed like it would be a good opportunity to, to have what we're doing, even though it's small, to be a, a part of that, that trail system. Uh, but obviously what's different though in, in this particular trail is that it isn't meant to just be biked right through, you know, or run through. And with uh, Great American Trails, that's, that's halfway point and that's, it's time to, for people that are walking that to say, you know, this is, this is a good time to rest because we lose a lot of things when we're just walking and not even looking. We don't walk on the places where they shed their blood we walk alongside of where they were. It's not just for the Northern Cheyenne. It's, we've had a lot of people come, come up, even the ancestors of the cavalry that were there, they donated money and it's, it's healing for their part too. And everybody that comes through there will feel that. 
it's important to us to to know who we come from and where we belong. And um, that trail tells us both of those things. The Northern Shine Healing Trail is really a place that we want tribal members, Northern Cheyenne and other tribes and non-natives to come and remember what happened there at Fort Robinson so that we can remember and we can honor and we can persevere and we can heal. <laughs>